David thought to himself, One of these days I am going to be swept away by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than to escape to the land of the Philistines. Then Saul will despair of searching for me through all the land of Israel, and I will escape from his hand. The first book of Samuel, chapter 27, verse 1. The thought of David's heart at this time was a false thought, because he certainly had no ground for thinking that God's anointing him by Samuel was intended to be left as an empty and unmeaning act. On no occasion had the Lord thus far deserted his servant. He had been often placed in perilous positions, but on not one occasion had occurred anything in which divine interposition had not delivered him. <clears throat> the trials to which he had been exposed had been varied. They had not assumed one from only, but yet in every case he who had sent the trial had graciously ordained a way of escape. David would not have been able to put his finger on any entry in his diary and say of it, Here is the evidence that the Lord will forsake me. For the entire tenor of his past life proved the very opposite. Indeed, he should have argued from what God had done for him that God would be his defender always. But is it not just in the same way that we doubt God's help? Is it not mistrust without a cause? Have we ever had the shadow of a reason to doubt our Father's goodness? Has not his loving kindness always been marvellous to us? Has he once failed to justify our trust? No, our God has never left us at any time. Indeed, we all have had dark nights, but the star of love has shone out amid the blackness. We have been in conflict, but over our head he has held aloft the shield of our defence. We have gone through, I am sure, many trials, but never to our detriment and always to our advantage. And the conclusion from our past experience is that he who has been with us in six troubles will not forsake us in the seventh. What we have known of our faithful God proves that he will keep us to the very end. Let us not, then, reason contrary to the evidence. How can we ever be so ungenerous as to doubt our God? Lord, throw down today the Jezebel of our unbelief, and let the dogs devour it. Amen. <laughs>